Hey everyone, I am back with another NXT G tutorial and today we're going to be grasping a more intermediate concept I per se, but um, today we're going to be discussing something called multitasking. So let me, let me throw a situation at you. So let's say I wanted to play a little song. Let me set it. Pick a random note. Pick a random note. And then we're gonna loop it so that we play this song over and over and over and over again. But at the same time, you want to move forward continuously. Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, in this case, we're gonna move forward, forward. Wait, what? No, we're gonna play a sound, we're gonna play another sound, and then we're gonna keep moving forward. And maybe we'll make the robot turn as well, so let's make a little pivot. Okay, so you want the robot to move in a square while playing this really annoying little tune, but what's gonna happen is that it's gonna play these two notes, move, and play these two notes, and it's gonna move again, so how the heck are we gonna get these two together so they can play simultaneously? Well, there's something called the multitasking that NXTG allows us to do. Now, when you go right over to the beginning, you realize that there is these two Lego pieces that are kind of outward, and when I hover over them, it turns into, I don't know, some black thing. I'm assuming that's a wire bundle from what I've heard from someone. If I click that and I drag it, you see that I'm getting another Lego piece right here, and I can click around, kind of mess with it, right click, I'm getting out of there. What I can do is let me let me drag these two sound blocks. Let's take it down here and let's grab this and let's link it right over there. And we realize that instead of our little gray blocks, they're lit now. And just so they can play over and over again, I'm gonna put a loop around them. All right, so what's going on here? Right when the program is starting, your computer is doing this. It's going to move the robot, and at the same time, it's going to play this obnoxious noise down here. And I could put a third one up here if I wanted to, so let me get a loop. And I can put whatever I want in here, and I can triple task even. I don't know, you can get creative whatever you want, I don't know, let's just put a display block here, why? Just fun. So, you realize that you can multitask while extending these little two parts right here with the wire bundles that are coming out. And, what you can also do is actually, um, let me, sorry, something else, what if I wanted to play a sound and then if I wanted to say, good job, and then I wanted to move to the main deal. Well, what we can do here is, if we go right over here and hold shift, you're going to realize that we're going to get the little wire bundle again. So, what I can do here is that I can hold shift, I can drag this up here, and let me move down. I can also grab this. I can also move it down. And what's going to happen here is that now after the sound block runs, we're going to be triple tasking right over here. So basically, that's a good way to organize, I guess. Maybe you can make movement right here, sensors right here, and displays the sound right here. It's your choice and you can get creative however you want with this. I'm going to have to throw you a warning with this multitasking here. Have you ever heard of the phrase, there's no such thing as a free lunch? Well, that's the same here. And what I mean is, just because you're making robots do many things at once, that doesn't necessarily mean that the robot's going to run faster. You see, your microprocessor for the NXT brain is only one processor. So instead of just doing it all at the same time, what your robot is actually doing behind the scenes, that little box of yours, is doing a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, 
let's move back here a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here it's doing that really 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 fast your robot might actually run a bit slower as you are doing this maybe a little less reaction time maybe eat up a little bit more battery it's just a little warning just make sure that just because you're multitasking that doesn't mean you're golden in the fact of energy efficiency or time efficiency you might get a bit of delay just because your robot might be overwhelmed by the amount of task it has been given so there we go that is multitasking i want you guys to play around with this Maybe it'll give you a bit more options on what kind of program you can do, expand your limits a little bit. And I'll see you guys in a little bit next time. And the next one will be covering another concept again. This will not be blocks, it'll be more of a concept. I'll see you guys there, okay?